Hello, welcome to this context capture tutorial, Annotations, 3D Segmentation. 1. Set in context capture project. 2. Run production and select annotation. 3. Select 3D segmentation and choose appropriate detector. 4. Review results. We are here in our context capture project in a block containing either point cloud and or images. Here we have point cloud that is non-classified and for which we'll try to run a 3D segmentation. We will create or set an existing reconstruction and submit new production. Define the name of the production. I'll call it 3D segmentation. Define the purpose. Here it will be annotations. And define the annotation type. 3D segmentation. Then a few settings needs to be defined. Will you segment the reconstruction reference mesh based both on point cloud and photos or will you just use the native point cloud? We'll use just the point cloud for now. Then you will choose the detector. Please review the appropriate detector selection tutorial for more information on this point. I will choose the folder hosting my detector here it is. And then I will choose possibly to export my classified point cloud in LAS format. I also have the ability here to detect 3D objects. So clusters of points belonging to the same class will be exported as individual regular objects if I choose this option. For example, vehicles, bridges, any kind of class that is part of my detector. I can export it to OBJ or DGN. I will press next, choose the spatial reference system. Here it will be 26910. Choose the extent and submit. Job is starting and after a few processing time, I will be able to review the results. Production is now complete. I have my segmented point cloud and related DGN objects. I can review all this in my preferred environment, Context Capture Editor. Here is my point cloud. First, I can choose to display the regular 3D object exported as DGN in the view one. If I zoom in, I will be able to review all the 3D boxes that have been automatically created. Plus, I will also be able to display my point cloud as a classified layer. Here, I choose classification and I'm able to review my point cloud as a result of a classification. 